All day, Mama Smart nervously watched the clouds gather. Then she could hear the rain, which started to loudly ping against her window. She opened the back door and called, Timothy! Taylor! Please come into the house right now. <coughs> Just as Daddy Smart arrived home from work and pulled his car into the driveway, lightning flashed across the sky and a boom of thunder made a loud noise. The lights in the house went out. Daddy ran into the house to find his family. When he got inside, he was out of breath. It was the first time that their electric had gone out. Their house was very dark without lights. Daddy and Mama Smart assured the children that it would be all right. Timothy and Taylor were afraid. Timothy asked, what can we do to get the electric to come back on? Mama hugged both children. She had no answer. Daddy got flashlights for everyone. They all stayed in the bedroom. To make their fears go away, Daddy told a fun story about electricity to his son and daughter. The children enjoyed the story so much that Daddy Smart decided that they would have a fun day exploring electricity the next day. The children went to sleep thinking about how much fun they would have. The next day when the Smart family woke up, they noticed that their alarm clock was still off. When Daddy Smart went to turn the lights on, they would not come on. Looking outside, he could see that the strong wind and the rainstorm had knocked down the electric pole overnight. Timothy and Taylor grabbed their flashlights. Daddy Smart said, batteries are a good source of power in an emergency. Daddy and Mama Smart gathered the children together and decided to make the day into an adventure. He said the electric may be off for a while. Timothy and Taylor were very excited because electricity was something new to explore. On this beautiful day, the children watched from the car as the sun rose. The storm was over and the clouds were gone. The family started on their journey while Timothy and Taylor noticed flowers and trees gently blowing in the wind to greet the morning. Daddy Smart said, Do you know that cars are run by electricity? The car has a battery that turns on the car, the lights, and the radio. Everything in the car that requires energy will only work if the battery has enough power. Timothy noticed how tall trees reach toward the sky. He said, the trees rely on the energy of the sun to grow. His parents nodded in agreement. They stopped at a house that was not too far from their home and noticed the solar panels were placed on the roof of the house. Taylor asked why they were on the roof. Mama Smart said, like the trees, they are there to gather sunlight to provide electricity for the house. Taylor had always wondered about the funny looking panels. Mama said, solar energy is a clean source of energy that can be put on many homes. The local lake was the next stop on their trip. When they arrived, Daddy asked Timothy and Taylor if they knew that water was a great way to make electricity. He explained that there are hundreds of engineers and other workers who create and test the dams that electric companies use to make electricity. As the water comes through a portion of the dam, electricity is created. The electricity that's generated by a dam can keep the lights on at many homes and stores and sends water to every home. As they went to the next stop on their journey, Timothy asked, how does water create so much power? Daddy Smart reminded Timothy of the last time that they went to the beach. He asked him if he remembered how the waves knocked him down and how powerful they were. Timothy began to laugh because he remembered tumbling in the water.
Timothy said, yes, water is very powerful. It was time to take a break from driving, so they stopped the car at a park that was on their way to the next visit. Daddy and Timothy threw a football while Mama and Taylor threw a frisbee. An opportunity to get out and play in the fresh air was just what everyone needed. As Mama and Taylor got out the sandwiches they made, Mama called Daddy and Timothy over to the table for lunch. They sat on the grass in a gentle breeze for lunch and all talked about how electricity is an important part of their lives. Daddy said, there are many homes that use windmills to generate electricity. After lunch, the Smart family decided to begin their venture again. Timothy and Taylor couldn't wait to find out more after such a fun morning. The family's next stop was a coal plant. There were big lumps of coal everywhere, shining in the sun as it was loaded from big trucks. Daddy told the children that the trucks dumped the coal so it could be sent into the plant to create electricity. Timothy and Taylor could see that it took a lot of coal to produce electricity. Timothy and Taylor talked to the man who was in charge of the electric plant. He said, miners are responsible for digging a tunnel far down into the earth to get the coal out. Then it is loaded onto the trucks. Their last trip was to see a nuclear plant. When they arrived, they noticed how the giant reactors looked as high as mountains. Everything inside was controlled by computers that also monitor all the energy that was produced. This plant used nuclear energy to turn the engines that created the electricity for many homes. Mama said, the electricity from the plant goes to thousands of homes. It is needed for light and other items in the home. Timothy and Taylor were amazed and wished they could stay all day. They all got into the car, excited about how much they had learned during their day. The smart bunch spent time sharing the rest of the drive home. Mama and Dad explained that there was even more to learn, but that would have to wait for another day. While they were on their way home, Timothy was curious why so few homes had windmills or solar panels. Daddy Smart said that most families thought that it cost too much. Taylor said, that's too bad because everyone needs to help when the lights go out. When they arrived at their home, the lights were still out. Daddy and Mama Smart played games with the children outside. Daddy kept the light switch up so that he could see when the electric was back on. He mentioned that this would be a good time to have a solar panel or a windmill that could offer more power. Suddenly, just as the Smart family started to give up hope, the lights came back on. Everyone jumped for joy. Taylor thought it was awesome to see the lights come on again. Daddy noticed that the neighbor's electric was working too. They all agreed that having electricity that worked was very important. Happily, they all went inside. Daddy and Mama Smart and Timothy and Taylor were all glad to be inside their warm, cozy home. They could not stop talking about the fun that they had had learning about electricity. It was a great day. Timothy and Taylor said they could not wait to see what excitement their next adventure would bring. And then they turned out their lights and went to sleep.